so when I think about Joan, and I think about all the other people that I've been with, one woman um, who was the mom of a really close friend said to me when she was, she had cancer, and she was laid out of some time, she looked beautiful. She had a beautiful glow about her, and she said, you know, I am in a win-win situation. She said, if you pray for me and I'm healed, I will. Because I'll live for longer and I will, I will eventually uh, lay down again and see my world. And if I don't make it and I close my eyes, I will open my eyes and the kingdom will come. So I'm going to live with you. And I thought, what great faith. And that faith had been spread, that witness had been known by countless people, just as Joe and Jeff have been light to the people that know what she's going through and what they're going through. Great lights to the Jewish community who operates Cedar Sinai. Bill Katz with acute leukemia is an inch away from death himself, but he has managed to minister to just about everyone on the whole floor of the hospital that he's in. And as well as pastors that have come to visit him to comfort him, he ends up comforting them taking the fear of death away from God because he is no longer afraid of death at all. He has no fear whatsoever of death. And I've known Bill for a really long time. And there, there were times when he was afraid of death and he admitted to me. He goes, you know, I, I, I'm ashamed to say that I have a lingering thing. I'm a little afraid of, of, of death. I'm afraid of what it's going to be. I want to see the Lord, but I'm a little afraid. And now he, he, he calls me and he goes, oh, I don't have any fear at all. I'm an inch away, death is standing an inch away from my nose, buzzing in my face, and I'm smiling and laughing and I'm full of joy. And I go, it seems to be that way. Where uh, sin abounds or death seems to abound, God's grace abounds all the more. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you for your word, for your word is truth. We can stand upon your word more solidly than any a geographic, uh, geological location upon the face of this earth. This whole earth can shake and fall apart in your word and never fade away. And as we stand on your word, as we live and abide in you, we shall never be shaken, nor shall we be taken, for we belong to you. <coughs> Therefore, Lord, we do once again. Thank you, Lord, that you will, we will and have touched John. You have touched Bill. You have touched Peter. You have touched all of our afflicted loved ones. And we trust and rely on you to make the right decision and the righteous decision concerning your lives. But we fervently pray that you do. Nothing wavered. No doubt. In Jesus' name we pray.